Now that we've got the domain created, it's time to add some users. So we'll close down Server Manager and from a start menu we'll head across to Admin Tools. And in here we're looking for Active Directory Users and Computers. We'll open up our domain and you'll see that we've got some built-in groups. We have some existing users of which administrators is the only one that's useful. And we have one domain controller sitting there ready to go. We could create all our users in the users folder, but this would make it a little bit tricky to administer. So my advice is to create new organizational units. You can have these at any level you feel like. I'm going to create my first one at the, the top level here. So we'll right click, choose new organizational unit row U and we'll give it a name. Inside that one, we'll create new organizational units a second time. And we'll create a third one. Then we'll go inside one of the OUs and in there we'll create a new user. Put in his name and we'll choose a login for him. We'll give him a password. And because we are using a fake system, what we'll do is we'll untick users must change password at next login and change it to password never expires okay, at the moment. And there we do go, we've created our first user. We can now repeat this and add some more to both groups. So I've now created two users in the diesel group, two users in the steam group.